Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mighty Mouse channel. Today I want to share with you my haul that I have from uh, Prime Days. Uh, Amazon Prime had uh, some last minute uh, items here I couldn't resist because they were seriously slashed and I spent about a total of $12. Uh, I wasn't expecting to do another color pencil review and comparison, but I will run this up against Prismacolor because that's my standard. Now for uh, the Crayola video that I did up against uh, Prismacolor was a very surprising result. There are so many of these things coming up in the battle uh, between the best, I would say, that there are so many of them that you could spend much less money on and use them for practice. And then use the ones you like the best or that you get the best results for your masterpieces. So I got this Mr. Pen Color Pencil 36 pack, and uh, this has long-lasting pre-sharpened pre premium quality and it also says at satisfaction guaranteed now that's pretty good for uh, two three dollars that i spent on this that's amazing deal and then this one here amazon basics this is the premium of the colored pencils 24 pack now this thing was packed so tightly in the box i had trouble getting it out and then it had a final bubble wrap around it and i couldn't tell which way it was going i ended up dropping the thing on the floor to un the way that it unraveled so with all that protection in there i'm surprised if there are no broken ones so this is uh, a more than enough color pencils to do anything you want. I'm sure that the basics w are the only ones that I would use the most. And uh, you can tell when you've got a set, certain ones end up getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Now, the trouble I have with packs like this is how do you get the ones you run out of? I would think that at some point in time, a manufacturer would sell like a set of five whites or blues or whatever and make those available because those are the ones you use up the most but i haven't seen that so whoever comes out with that kind of an idea is going to have my business for sure and then i got this nine by 12 68 pound for sketching it's not a watercolor paper and uh, this will give me a lot of uh, color pencil and pencil and pen work as you can see it's it's for loose work for getting practice down and just basically working and there's nothing on the back so i'm going to open these up and then i'm going to run a comparison up against some of my color pencils from Prismacolor. This is just my working set here. And as you can see, look at how little this one is. You can tell that I use that one a lot. So where do you go when you need a cream color? Well, these are readily available at uh, most hobby stores, Joanne Fabrics, uh, Hobby Lobby, etc. Michaels. You can get individuals and they're not cheap. They're about $2 each. So and without any further ado, I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to do uh, three fences. And the reason why I'm doing that is because after Inktober, last year my siblings, my sisters, uh, did Inktober with me. When it was over, they said, what are we going to do now? They really enjoyed it. So we decided to do a Siblingtober. And uh, we have, since uh, October of last year, taken turns in order, oldest to youngest, Every Friday, somebody comes up with a new prompt word, and then you have a week to draw whatever that word means to you in any form. It can be digital, it can be watercolor, it can be oils, it can be pencil, ink, anything. It, it, the idea is to get you to draw, and i got to say, I've had a lot of fun doing it because it gets you doing things that you basically wouldn't do and today's word from friday every friday is a new word from friday my wife has joined in with us siblings and another friend of a sister so we have a seven person group already the word is fence come along with me i'm going to open these up run a comparison up against uh, prismacolor and draw three fences here we go on your packaging stinks it's been now it's stuck on there look at this i 
I don't like things with gummy, gooey stuff all over the place. And uh, I'm trying to get the backside tape off because it, when it released, I was pulling it, and when it released, it it threw my cut, uh, pencils all over. They, uh, half of them fell on the floor. Now I've now I've got that for peeling the tape off. That was dumb. I should have just sliced it like this, but then you've still got a piece of tape on here and that's going to irritate me to no end. And yep. Why do they have to do that? I mean, it was inside of an envelope anyway. So these are the ones that did not fall. And these are the ones that fell. And I think I got three broken tips now uh, to start out with. Not a good start for Amazon. I sure hope they color well. But it looks like uh, all the colors that I would ever use. And when you look at them, it, it resembles Prismacolor quite a bit. And uh, this says light blue. Now, it's, Prismacolor likes to use fancy words like maybe sky blue or uh, blah, 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 blue, blue, some sort of a vermilion or whatever. Here's yellow green. That's great. So... That, I like that a lot. Van Dyke Brown. So these look like they're going to be great pencils. But we'll find out in a minute once we start coloring. I'm going to rearrange these back again. Oh, there they go on the floor. I'm being extra clumsy today. So I wanted to show you the uh, Mr. Pen pencil. So it says on the edge here, Mr. Pen. Uh, all of them have the same thing. None of them say what color they are. If you wanted to replace the color, you, you basically would have to eyeball it. So every single one of these colors in here have no name, which, you know, it's really not a bad idea because when you're looking for a color, you want to get the color, not necessarily the name. But when I do use Prismacolors, I look for peach and uh, there may be several different kinds of peaches like here is a uh, sunburst yellow well you know how many of these do i have to go through before i get peach there's beige uh so it n <clears throat> putting a name on them when you've got you know hundreds available might help a lot and of course putting them in something that would organize them which is not important to me having a lot of them with me is important to me so Let's get on with the comparison here. I'm going to sharpen these broken ones up and go in uh, fast motion with a quick draw and then give a review at the end. Okay, I'm done with the sketching and uh, really like the way they turned out. 
They all have their different look for sure. And surprisingly, the Amazon Basics come out really crisp and clear, but having the same paper side by side gives you the best look. Now, the Mr. Pen here was very hard and uh, I couldn't get it to burnish much at all. And you can see it's kind of pale next to this one here. So the Amazon Basics burnished really well. The uh, Prismacolors burnished the best, but it kind of lost favor in the crispness as compared to this one. It could have been me uh, because as I'm searching through all the Prisma colors that I have, it's hard to come up with the same colors that these have to give it a best comparison. So as I put the red flag down on here, I want to say that in this comparison, if you're looking for a uh, fairly affordable set of color pencils, I would go with these Amazon Basics because they gave me a real good uh, competition for the uh, Prismacolor, which came as a big surprise. And uh, now it makes me wonder how they all stand up to uh, Crayola. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. This is enough comparison here. You can go back and look at my Crayola comparison with the Prismacolor, and you'll probably find that the, the Crayola probably falls somewhere between these two uh, because, it, you know, Crayola felt harder like this one, but it gave me results like Prismacolor, which was really a big surprise. So I would say for the price, this 24 set is really a good deal. Now, let me tell you what's actually the best part of this set right here. It's this tin. Because all the pencils are held in place by a grooved plastic piece on the inside, they're not gonna go anywhere now that I've got them closed. I can flip it around and everything, and they're very protected. And you can put them in uh, order color if you want to and, uh, and have less trouble finding them than what I do in my uh, Prismacolor set. This is what happens when you get too many. Um, this makes this is kind of uh, messy and it makes it difficult to find the color but whenever i'm doing a masterpiece i am not in a hurry like i am doing a video like this the comparison now if these this set came in a tin like this i would recommend it for somebody who wants to just have a set to practice with because uh, this gives you color uh, it also gives you uh, a start and this was the cheapest set by far by a couple of bucks, but I'm sorry, Mr. Penn, you did not win this competition uh, as far as the workability. If you had something a little softer and you could burnish, uh, I would think that then you could compete with the Amazon Basics. But this really does compete with Prismacolor. I would highly recommend this set here for those looking for something to practice with. I bet I could actually do a pretty good masterpiece, a portrait or something like that with this. And I'm curious to, as how it stand up on different paper and giving me that burnishing that I want. How many times can you go back over and burnish? With the Prismacolor, you could just keep going over it and over it again. Eventually this one becomes muddy. So that's the difference between those. Uh, I would say that the uh, Prismacolor is still my number one color pencil, but I'm going to keep this set here handy uh, and do most all of my work with this because I really like 24. You don't need more than 24 pencils, and I really like this tin a lot, so I'm going to be using this for our trip and taking color pencils with me, and look at how thin it is. That'll pack away nicely. Good job, Amazon Basics. I would say this is a winner. Not sure how it compares to Crayola, but maybe I'll do that in a future video just for fun because I know some of you out there are wondering, Mighty Mouse, how does it compare? Because, you know, the Crayola set was pretty cheap as well, but they gave me a lot of a lot of competition, but I was doing that competition on sandpaper, and I think that even this would do well on sandpaper, but not as well as its competitors. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informational for you, educational, and fun to watch. Hey, have a great day. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Take care.